welcome to the canal. As you can no doubt tell from the shirt that I've got on there, I've come from work, not straight from work, went home first, had something to eat, and then straight down a local canal. So sometimes I go fishing when I'm at work in that area, other times here. The upper seven where I am really going for at the moment, that's not really fishable due to the heavy rain that we've had. I'm next to a lock here and it's not ideal either because I'm float fishing and probably with, well, with a ledger it would be much better. But there's a little bit of flow coming through. It's like fishing a, a flowing waterway, but I'm only here for an hour or so and I'm gonna give it my best shot. Oh, and I think I might have a, a bite there. Got my rod alongside me. And I'm gonna just lift that up into my hand there. That's a promising sign, isn't it? I am fishing with a, a maggot and I've put a brown crumb and mixed maggots out. That's a standard approach for me. I had a good morning at work. I was up really early. Obviously with the travel involved to Wales, I'm, I'm up well before the lark at the moment and did interviews, did one in Welsh with Leo Smith, that's fantastic. He's a fluent Welsh speaker. I'm way, way beyond, but I can ask a question or a couple of questions and then we can put it together that way. A press conference with our manager and then some stuff with the players. One of our players, Greg Draper, New Zealand international. He scored five on Saturday and he's now got 156 career goals for the New Saints in the league. So he's the record holder there so he broke that record which is previously 153 I'm just bringing the the float in there and the maggot isn't sucked so I, I didn't think it was a, a roach the way that it went the thing with the canal especially if you're fishing with maggot you can catch anything roach perch gudgeon rough especially now that the the light levels are, are dropping carp and I've heard there's barbel come out from various sections people put them in don't they uh, dace even you know and goldfish <laughs> I've seen plenty of orange shapes making the way through the water you never know do you what you will catch next bream as well but when you set your stall for a particular species then you have more of a, a focus than a, a general catch anything approach there is a, a flow on there as i said not ideal but i also said i'm going to give it my best shot i'll be back with a fish it's been extremely slow i didn't get any more taps after that bite that i had when i cast out however as i lifted because i've just cast in again as i lifted the well, I don't know whether it was the float or the maggot from the water because they come out at pretty much the same time. A fish leaped clear of the water as if it was going for the, either the maggot or the, the float. Now, and this is the interesting thing, if I was fishing the, the sea, I would say that was a garfish. It, I only had a brief glimpse of it but it looked like a garfish. Obviously it isn't and it wasn't. So what I'm going to go for is that it was a, a small pike, a very lean, thin looking fish. Now it could be that I've got that one in the area there. So whenever the smaller roach or whatever have moved in, it's been seeing them off because it did seem to be quite active the way it uh, leaped out of the water. Now if that was the case and I've just spooked it maybe it's gone off somewhere else the fish will come in and i'll be back with one to show you i did have a predator in the swim a pike and every now and then the small fish were scattering i didn't get a bite at all so i decided to move further along the canal not that much just a few yards to the lock itself i'm fishing by a lock and right at the very end I had a bite, I had a good fight, 
and I've just netted a fish and I'm going to show you right now. It might not be the biggest chub that I've ever caught, but I tell you what, in these conditions, it's not too bad. I was speaking to an angler earlier who's had three blanks on the trot on this particular section that I'm on now. So bringing everything into perspective, this little chub has certainly made my day.